Scott Tales. Oh. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Scott Tales. My name is Scott Hostetler. You know, a wife comes home from the grocery store, and she has two loaves of bread, two cases of beer, four handles of vodka, a case of tequila, one bottle of bourbon, two bottles of gin, six bottles of red wine and two bottles of white wine, a case of club soda, and six bags of ice. Her husband says, uh, uh, are we having a party? She looked at him and said, no. And he said, well, then what'd you get the two loaves of bread for? <laughs> That's a true story that I just made up. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the uh, smash, the bourbon smash. Now the exact definition is kind of hard to uh, pin down. Jerry Thomas's 1862 book, How to Mix Drinks, or uh, the Bon Vivant's Companion, uh, talks about juleps and it has spirits, mint, sugar, and then seasonal fruit. The 1930s uh, Savoy Cocktail Book has recipes also, but it says a smash is, in effect, a julep on a small plant. <laughs> anyway, the smash is flexible. You can use bourbon, rum, brandy, Irish whiskey, scotch, whatever your heart desires. Now, I've asked you to submit suggestions for your favorite drink to be featured on Scott Tales. You just put it in the comments section. I'll look at it and, oh, while you're there, subscribe. And today, we've got a suggestion on the bourbon smash from Ryan Pease in Central California. Hi, I'm Ryan Pease. I'm the owner and winemaker of Pace Terra Wines in Paso Robles. Uh, we make a slew of Rome varietal wines, really refreshing whites, um, red wines with no oak influence, so that have a lot of acid and minerality to them. Um, so I, in general, like alcoholic beverages that are very refreshing, and we make wine in that style across the, the board. So I like to apply that style in our winemaking to how I make cocktails at home, and a lot of making wine is this kind of farm-to-table aspect and, and picking things at the perfect moment of when they're ripe to make something special. So to me, a great cocktail for working with the seasons is a bourbon smash. And a bourbon smash essentially uses any seasonal fruit available, like blackberries, strawberries, poisonberries, mulberries, and all those ripen generally at different times throughout the summer. So it allows you to kind of change the, the base of the recipe the, the recipe is essentially the same all the way through by just tweaking the fruit. So making a bourbon smash is pretty easy. I'd say, I usually, because my wife and I are making two drinks, so let's say we're using blackberries. Roughly about 10 berries to me is a good number to have. Um, and then if you're, you're doing strawberries, you can kind of figure out the equivalent essentially, but throw in a handful of mint leaves in the shaker, about 10 blackberries, muddle them up real good and make a nice kind of paste with them, get the juices out of the berries. Then you're adding 2.25 ounces of bourbon per drink, essentially. So in this case, four and a half ounces, two ounces of lemon juice, and uh, one and three quarter, or excuse me, uh, one and a half ounces of simple syrup. I like mine to be a little skewed on the acidity side, so hence why I have more lemon juice than simple syrup in the mix. Put it all in the shaker, shake it up with ice, strain it over a large rock in a tumbler, and uh, garnish with a mint sprig, and if you're even Going for it, put the mint sprig in the seasonal berry of what you're using so you can chomp on the berry at the end of the drink after it's soaked in bourbon at the same time too. Uh, but the idea of this drink is that it's the same recipe but the berry changes so it keeps it refreshing throughout the whole season. And honestly, my favorite is mulberries if you can find them, which have only like a two week season so it's a very short window. And then I would say blackberries and boysenberries second and strawberries fourth, but they're all delicious. And uh, give that a try, and uh, you'll be doing that all summer. Thank you, Ryan. You know, I invented a new drink. Now, it combines Irish whiskey with German schnapps and French cognac and English beer and American bourbon. I call it the Titanic. That eh, may sound strange, but you add ice, it goes down quickly. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make the bourbon smash in slow motion so that uh, Ryan's suggestions come to light. But we're using blackberries and some uh, nice uh, mint. 
I've already got it halfway muddled here. So anyway, we muddled that into a nice paste, just like Ryan suggests. Then we put it into our shaker. Now, ding. Then we add two and a quarter ounces of bourbon. And today we're using the uh, Makers 46. This is 94 proof. Um, the 46 is the content alcohol level. Two and one quarter. He, he makes this uh, for him and his lovely wife, Nicole. Two and a quarter. Then we add some lemon juice. We'll just leave that open. One ounce of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. If you use concentrate, you're going to get the drink you deserve. And then one ounce of simple syrup. This is because we like it sweet also. Add your ice and shake that bad boy up. Now, 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. You know, in school I wanted to join the debate team, but somebody talked me out of it. I thought that was funny. Then, <laughs> we take a glass with one large ice cube in it. I've got one big round one. I like big frozen bowls. <clears throat> and we strain our juice. Because there's a lot of pulp in it, you may have to turn it a bit. That's okay. Then we garnish it with some mint and some blackberries. Then we taste. Yes! He was right. Very refreshing. Very. It's got the tartness. The acidity's low, the sweetness. Oh, you're going to love that on a hot summer day. I went to the doctor and told him I wasn't feeling well. He says to me, well, have you been drinking? I said, well, yeah, all day. He said, well, uh, come back tomorrow when you're sober. Uh, well, so I come back the next day and I tell him I'm still not feeling well. He says, well, are you sober? I said, well, I haven't had a drop all day. He thought for a moment and he said, mm, go home and have a drink. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> One of the things Ryan said was, this drink is so good because you can add different fruits to make it different uh, styles. So today we're going to try it with the strawberries. Um, seasonal fruit, both blackberries and strawberries are in season. So I've already muddled them up, putting them, muddled uh, the strawberries with our mint. It's going to be the same ingredients Two and a quarter bourbons. One, two, and two bits. That's a quarter for you youngsters. One ounce lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. And then one ounce simple syrup, which is just sugar water, one to one. And that will make it sweet as honey. Add our ice. Give it a shake. You know, I was once accused of being a plagiarist. Their words, not mine. That's been 15 seconds. Then we take our old-fashioned glass with big icy balls, just one. And then we add our magic, Puff the Magic Dragon Elixir. Festive in color, and we will now garnish with mint and strawberry, and now we'll taste. Yes! Fruity, nice, it's sweet, That is sweet also, but that's a little more tart than the strawberry. Try it with different fruits. 
I'm sure you will love it. At the heart of the smash is a wonderfully forgiving and flexible Scott tail made for hot days and using what's on hand, smashing it together over ice for pure sipping for pleasure. And remember to put your suggestions in the comment section and subscribe. And drink up, because it's almost closing time somewhere.